I am Caitlin Stephan, and I wanted to share a poem with you, and this is going to be the, for the chosen ones, the very few, okay? And um, help me, Lord, help me deliver this for your kids today. It is important that you go ahead and you step into the divinity right now, okay? There's no more, I don't want to say, you humble yourself before the Lord, the Lord only. And okay, but how do we how do we get into that posture? We have to we have to know how to get into it. It's it's you versus you, okay? It's the inner things, the ones that I have I have some um, a poem I wrote, okay, that I wanted to share with you. And all, this is only going to be for the chosen few. I don't expect you know a million views from this. I don't even expect many to like it. But if you are in fact are chosen and this resonates with you share like subscribe hit the notification so you get to see it first you guys know how it is and so into the word if you feel like it okay because it is easy to get weary and doing good works for the lord when you keep casting your pearls to swine okay especially when you go through that long suffering just in that long um periods of isolation just to be able to de deliver words to people and it is very much so for some people but people are so self-centered and don't know how to think for themselves that not many are going to catch this kind of frequency okay and it can be painful because you're set apart and just know that it was all for a reason and you've already won because you're a part of the sun okay and if, if you take offense to this uh, as a spirit of religion don't watch it it's and I say that in the, with the love of Christ okay because this right here is going to be for exactly for who it was made for okay it's called a battle cry. A battle cry I hear raging within. The drums beat so loud in the thunder of my heart. I knew there was something wrong from the very start. But I had to play the part, the one I was taught to mold. As I grew older, I knew what seemed like mere strangers, the ones some call family members. I always knew they hated me. But I never understood why. So there, or through, throughout the years, of attempting to fit this or that mold, I still felt the growth of hatred from those around me. It felt as though I was am drowning, caving into my own thoughts, dark, some light. But deep inside, there was always that fight, the one of what is wrong or right. Once you free your mind from the hive mentality, that's when you find you was who you was created to be right as if right as you enter the new door there won't be any longing anymore glory to god the difference is between right and wrong was always so sensitive to me they called me bad for years while i sat humiliated fighting so hard to hold back tears the ones of carrying stones for the people because you know it's true they just don't know. Vengeance has always been the Lord's. How do I know that? I'm not so sure. Heaven or hell, that's neither there nor here. It's all an experiment to level up in rewards. Whose God is this? Are they both the same? Why here there's always why why have they always targeted us in bizarre ways? To encourage self destruction, that's where you'd be if you listen. To those types of creatures the snare of the fowler is at the end of the day you versus you and the ability to remember the right or wrong the ones that come internally by staring into the Sun you're just the one the one reincarnated as the Sun son what do you think you could what do you think could give you immortality you're almost there slow and easy Grace upon grace for yourself must be shown. It's not like you haven't been through hell already, but and you thought you were alone. Some by your own hand, and some that hard love that you must show most children. Either way, I never left you. I always knew you'd do what's necessary for you to win the last game. Like it's my miracle that keeps you from going insane. That and the open heart I designed you to have. You've made us proud if you only seen the crowds. 
those that come far and wide just to see you and your smile. It took unimaginable testing and trials, but yet you still stood tall a while, a while but it's okay to rest. You've passed all my final tests. Now the battle drums that call, like the hums from your belly, it's the one you versus that other half of you. I'm not sorry for creating you this way. It's your own choice. It's your choice, not mine. Free will was made for you by design. Yes, you are high level rank. And yes, sometimes you've taken the bait. The ones of those that you feel that hate from. It's not just you. They hate you because you won. Because it's not just you. Because they hate you. Because you've already won. My son, S-O-N. They all see it. So go ahead and birth it out and show it. A hundred percent is who you are in me. Why do you think you have these abilities? Smile, because this is your golden hour. Just patience and staying and knowing you're great because you are mine. Love, the divine, the holy trinity. God, I've, I felt that. I felt that so much. And I just want to give all praises to God right now for this because he's speaking to somebody. And he's speaking to me. He's speaking through me. He's speaking through you. And when we can really meet, we, we just keep our eyes fixated on the sun, right? That way, all the bullshit that we've had to endure is going to come undone. There has been some attempts on certain things in the spiritual realm on some of your guys' growth. Um, the way you look at yourself, your the what you know, your insecurities, things like that. Listen, you alone are set apart. You alone on your the most horriblest, roughest day. You still outshine everybody. Don't worry about what these people have to think or say about you. They are they hate you anyway. I'm sorry. But you we are not of this world, okay? But if we're gonna complete the mission and get to where we need to be, we must cut it off. The battle cry, that's a war cry from within. It's time to drop the sin and all the bullshit that that yet that you've carried. And, and rightfully so. You've been through enough. They've done enough. And you've done enough to you. Because that's how they taught us. That's how they taught us, guys. That's why God wants you to show grace upon yourself. And I, I know some of my people that watch this don't even believe in the, create, the one I believe in, right? Whatever one you want to believe in, that is fine. The spirit of religion, I, I'm not here to please you people. Okay, I know exactly who I am. I know exactly who sent me and I know exactly who I'm called to be. I'm not going to put myself in a box for anything else anymore. I don't care if I go to zero subscribers or zero followers. It, but if, even if I have one that this reaches, just know that you're not alone. There's other people. There's other people like you that are set aside. Okay, in the heart that you have, you have to protect it with everything you got right now. Because everything in this world is going to target it. But at the end of the day, it's you versus you. You have the choice. You have your free will. Quit giving the devil so much credit. Quit, giving, quit blaming God for all you. Yes, you've endured. Yes, you've been through hell. But we are coming into a time where we are fully manifesting the Holy Spirit and becoming as one. So, as you become undone, I don't care if you're completely alone. The sun's within you. God's always been with you. I don't care what you have done in your life. If you are of my kind, because we are all not children of the Most High, I don't care who I offend. That's true. You have that 
whether you believe in it or not. Once it all makes sense, it'll start falling into place for you. And the gatekeepers, it's time that we really buckle down because it's a miracle and that we're not in absolutely out of our minds, that we're in our right frame of mind. It, listen, we don't get, we don't follow the, the crowd. We don't have hive mentality. We never did. And that's why we were targeted, right? And that's why it's been all a big experiment. It was all in this poem I wrote just now. They've done enough. And as long as you know your authority, because if, if you can step out into the wilderness, you'll, you'll see it. And once you do, don't you ever forget it. I don't care if you have a Job season and all hell breaks loose in your life. You don't never let these people see you stumble and fall anymore. You hear me? Because that's what they've done to your whole life. That's why you've been through what you've been through. And then here it's, it, it turns out it's just, just so, to, so they can observe. I'm not talking about God. I'm talking about the powers that be. Vengeance is God's. I've always known that. I don't know how I know that, but I know it. And there's other things about the Bible that I know in my heart I have fear of. You hear me? So that's what I'm saying. I don't want you to fear what I'm saying because I'm not coming with that religious box. But I can't anymore. God is not playing around anymore. He's not playing around with me. <laughs> He's not playing around with none of us, guys. We have to get it now. It's our final. For who this is created for right now, this is our final chance to get it right if we're going to see the eternal life that everybody else thinks they already have. And that's what immortality means. That's what that's what all of it means. We can put it in it. I'm going to put it in whatever wording I feel like. But if you guys need me to back it up on scripture, I will. Okay? This is inner truth that I've always known. And it's time that I'm going to speak it. I don't care about the spirit of fence anymore. I don't, it's not like I've earned a dime doing this stuff, but I am reaping rewards in heaven, okay? So let's bust at least, chosen ones, siblings. We have God flowing through our blood. Act like it and cut these serpents' heads off in the mighty name of Christ. I love you guys. Stay up.